Howdy and welcome to Selfmade today, part 3 of uh, Let's Make a Railgun. And this will show you guys why it took so long for the last part. It's not just a railgun, it's a railgun crossbow. Let's just call it the railbow. And uh, yeah, the injector is a crossbow. Why? Because it's kind of stupid to carry around um, gas bottles if you want to uh, make an electric gun. You know, so uh, it's not senseless, but I don't think it's very practical. So, yeah, railbow. And uh, yeah, now I will show you how I fire it. I got only one uh, shot, so it won't take too long. And after that, uh, we go into the making. Cup rails, it's uh, 5 by 5 millimeters and um, you drill three holes in it, should be enough for a tiny railgun here if you have a bigger cap bank uh, below uh, beyond one kilojoule you uh, probably need more holes than this and maybe not plexiglass, it will shatter if you make it too big but anyway, then I take a piece of aluminum or if you have, I don't have I'm out of copper so I use a piece of um, square bar aluminum also five by five and then you just squeeze them together and mark the holes either with a drill bit or pen uh, on the plexiglass and you transfer it to another piece of plexiglass and that's our little sandwich here then you can remove the aluminum and it looks like this next step you need to cut a two by um, two or three millimeter um, wide channel into the the rear of your plexiglass on both sides so just let it combine and screw together and then cut in not uh, make sure it's not wider than your um, your square bar because it uh, still needs to guide it and uh, then you're ready for the next step and what did I do here? I uh, cut off a piece of the plexiglass because it was too big and then you insert our good old friend aluminum square bar 5mm just like the copper rails by the way the screws are M2.5 M3 would go also work also but uh, the smaller the better because 1mm material left was not enough for me so yeah 2.5 and uh, then you insert the square bar then you glue a piece of plexiglass um, underneath and one above to form a channel and this channel will hold our projectile later and this right here is free and empty because this is where our ammo will go in now the more complicated steps um, this is the thingy that will push our projectile um, into our um, rails. It has this tiny hook here to uh, make sure that uh, it will lock right in place. This one is my every time used lock mechanism. Um, got a video on my channel. And this will run right in here. This slit here is for the bowstring. Um, the limbs go in here on both sides and that's actually it but now before I put it back together I have to um, yeah hook up rails to some leads to make sure we can power them and here we go soldering on the leads to the copper rails works for small rail guns um, I'm always afraid that the magnetic force will just blow off the nut but I guess you could also uh, use a stripe of uh, copper sheet metal and a screw and then add it right here and let it uh, go down and up and uh, just uh, solder the lead onto the um, the sheet not too, not too thin, needs to be a uh, one millimeter sheet because um, it needs to uh, take the current um, a bad screw connection can blow off depending on the energy of your railgun, the magnetic force will cause it to just uh, blow off and shatter to pieces that's not what we want so I decided to solder it why not 
And now moving on. Doesn't it look just cool already? There's the bowl with the whatever this is called. Oh yeah. All right, so good. I think I will just uh, keep it clear to make sure that you can see what's going on there. Might be worth it. And uh, yeah, we hope it doesn't uh, jam because that would be a bit more complicated to remove than uh, in a regular gun. I assume. And yeah, now I can um, put in the lock and the trigger. As you can probably see, I decided to go for another big uh, capacitor um, in the in the front here. And actually, if you are not such a uh, design fanboy like me, you will probably um, use um, three of them and just arrange them right under the um, stock. Because you, the more power the better. I just thought it's, uh, the tiny ones, they don't really store enough energy. So yeah, just a ring of uh, metal, bend around and screwed it onto a piece of flexiglass, paint it just to make it look cooler. Hope it worked. And yeah, now we can uh, put it in. And for that, I have made a hole. Right here with my little Dremel tool, actually it's a Proxon, but uh, yeah, Dremel tool. I just uh, use a bit and file it out here after um, drilling, I think it's a six or a seven millimeter hole. And I just uh, use the drill bit to file it out until the trigger goes through. Looks like this. The uh, converter is uh, screwed onto the <coughs> aluminum uh, U-section. This right here is uh, a um, momentary switch for charging, almost forgot it. And yeah, now I can uh, really put it together, connect it, batteries to switches and the voltmeter and so on. And uh, yeah, first we put in the top section. Railgun awesomeness. I also made a top cover from um, actually just a use section polystyrene. Fits on here with some screws. And I think I go I'm gonna um, solder on and cover up the uh, capacitors and just run another U section on, yeah, you will see. Let's do it. The only product I left looks like this now, molten, but successful. An EMP harpoon. And you can see the it was a lot thicker. Um, one layer is completely gone. And this looks like, I mean, hopefully you can see it from a Nice little smooth copper to a block, <clears throat> a tiny block. And yeah, that's the product tile. I will uh, show you how to make them and even some others. A um, lot better than uh, chunks of aluminum, as I always say. And uh, the professionals do it that way, so can't be wrong. This is just a bit different uh, to make sure it sticks. It has a tip and uh, a plexi stabilizer to make sure it, it uh, uh, sits straight in the barrel. But I, I will show you how to make this. And uh, yeah, we start uh, firing and uh, I'm afraid that's it for the day because that was really my uh, my last uh, little projectile um, out of uh, copper. So yeah, the next video will show a couple of more shots, even um, slow motion. I still have to figure out how, and uh, yeah, and how to make projectiles. So, 
As always, I see you later. Like it, share it, make it go around the world.